Greetings, peace and light you all. Welcome back to my channel. I give thanks. Um, I am honored to come forward to share with you all what has been placed on my heart. Um, I'm in a process of evolving when it comes to knowledge of self. And there are some things that has crossed my path as I am seeking truth from the most high first. Um, and although I pass, you know, come in contact with many people, um, things are shared. And I am honored to have meet, met people who are knowledgeable. Um, however, I have to take it to the source. I have to take it to the most high to get clear answers. So here I am willing to share with you all what the spirit has revealed to me when it comes down to connecting back with the Orishas. And this was a divine journey. And it's not over. This is just the beginning. As the Spirit has allowed me to put together um, a manifest, I'm sorry, a meditation practice to connect back with the Orishas, the original Orishas. And I say original is because everything begins within. That is the origin of things. The origin is within. Spirit, soul, the mind and the body, if you will. Um, and I just wanted to just put it out there and uh, hope that this is received in a divine way with much respect to all and everyone doing you know, what they're called to do. However, there are people like myself who have questions and I am honored to share the very beginning of things in the most naturalist form. That is who I am and uh, that's, that's just what it is. Okay, so in my search to understand the Orishas, I had a lot of questions and I was um, led to search within and learning that the orishas are our metabolism our anatomy our anatomy um things you know everything that's within us for example and i did write some notes and i'll be sharing with you um issue is the god that represents the alatus, the bones connecting the skull to the spinal cord and all joints and corners of the body and all the opening um, or orifices, excuse me. Um, Obatala is the head and the brain. Um, Yemaya is the uterus, muscles, I'm sorry, mucus, membranes, glands, and lymph lymphatic system. Ogun is the hands, the feet, the muscles, and temperature regulations. Oshun is the clitoris and vagina, the head of the penis, the prostrate, prostate, tongue, senses, dig digestion, the fat, skin, and blood. Oya, who was one of the Orishas that I divinely connected with, Represents the lungs, the lung cavity, vocal cords, and sinuses. Everything that has to do with breathing. And I'm going to stop right there connecting with Oya. Um, it just, something just came to me when it comes down to Oya. For years, years, I've had sinuses. I want to say since I had my second daughter, who is now 13, um, she... After, her, after giving birth to her, I adopted sinuses heavy. I mean, I would sneeze heavily, back to back, back to back. Um, I would, my nose would just run, run all the time. My eyes would water all the time. My sinuses was horrible. And then one day, uh, my elder told me that I was very emotional. And once I cleaned up my emotional self, my, senses would, my, my sinuses would go away. And lo and behold... They have, and I have not been having an, it, having any sinus problems unless I come across, you know, some situations that might be a little very emotional for me. 
it will try to come, but I will knock it out. Like, uh-uh, you're not coming here. So we have the power to, you know, connect and destroy. And that is one of the things Poya represents. She represents the goddess of um, destruction. So I did not realize Oya was always a part of me, not knowing that was her name, not knowing that was a part of my sinuses and um, uh, vocal cords, something else that I have, you know, issues with when it comes down to communication, but I'm getting better as I am here. Um, so I just wanted to share that. So that is, is very important to know thyself. Okay, so moving forward. Olo Kun, I hope I'm pronouncing this right, name right, but I'm I'm learning, so forgive me. Represents the pancreas, the liver, spleen, kidney, urinary tract, and all self-cleaning mechanisms of the body. And Shango represents the nervous system and electrical energy in the body. And um, all of these are very important to know. And I'm it's more, of course. Um, however, these are the these are the things that I came across that was very helpful to me. Um, so moving along, I was led to write um, a meditation practice, very brief, just to you know tap back into self um, while we're sitting and just you know in a moment of just relaxing, if you will, and it's very in a very basic form. So. Everybody know to prepare the altar when it comes down to the Orishas, if you will. And um, we do everything physical. And it's beautiful. The altars and whatnot are set up with the candles and the food and um, the statues and everything that is nice to the eye and appealing, you know, to the eye, to the eyes, excuse me. Um, and it's a wonderful thing. However, as I was seeking, spirit showed me a different way. Because here I am, not in the process of um, setting up an altar, literally. And again, it's okay. Because there is an original way to do it. And that is what I'm all about. The originality of just everything. Like how? What is the origin of everything? You know, if I can get there, I'm going to... If I can find out, I'm going to find out. If that question comes to my mind, I'm going to find out the origin of it. Okay, so moving along. Preparing the altar is preparing the mind, body, and soul. When one is preparing the altar, we're, you know, sitting normally in a lotus position. And when you think of a lotus position, everybody thinks about yoga. Correct. Or one could be possibly laying flat comfortably or just sitting in a very peaceful state if you will and it's like you know just rest your body you're just resting um, you will relax we are to close our eyes and focus on the mind's eye the first eye or some considered the third eye we are to focus on our breathing just at peace just relax breathing comfortably um, and then, you know, when spirit moves you to take deep breaths, you take your deep breaths. Um, what came to me was three deep breath, deep breaths through your nose and out of your mouth, um, slowly, um, exhaling out of your mouth. When you breathe in, you count real quick, a couple seconds, and then you just exhale very slowly through your mouth. That is part one. And then after you have prepared your mind and your body, you know, you prepared the altar, which is your mind, your body, and your soul, you give thanks. So according to the Orisha, the altar setting up everything in the physical realm, um, it is known to give thanks to the Orishas that you are, you know, connecting with and whatnot, who you're setting up your altar for. Um... But taking it back to the original state, we are to get we are to gather all the things that we need to give thanks for. We are to connect with the spirits. I'm sorry, let me go here. We we are to thank the Orishas, meaning the anatomy. Gather your thoughts and just be thankful. Be present with your natural self while focusing on the inward parts. Because remember, they all of the Orishas represent something from within and externally our metabolism our 
anatomy. So be present with yourself. Breathe natural breaths. While focusing on, on the inner, inner parts, you, give it, you are giving thanks for all that is within. Because sometimes we get so caught up on the physical, we forget to give thanks for you know our heart beating every day we get th we forget to give thanks for the lungs our uh, just breathing sometimes we don't even think about breathing we're just you know doing everything else we don't stop to just <sighs> give thanks you know acknowledging that we are alive and well and that we are full of life you know within and around us um, cause we focus too much on stuff that is not really important. So, okay. Again, while focusing on the inward parts, give thanks for all that is within, with and in all that is within and in you, meaning all that is surround, surrounding you. Next, we are to light candles and burn incense. That is another practice according to the Orishas um, setting up an altar you know the candles and the incense burning is a phenomenal um, sight to see and it's like okay well this is awesome like well, what does this mean that's the thing like what does it mean what where does it come from okay so what came to me spiritually is that we're activating our senses we are to light candles and burn incense meaning in sense senses within so we're activating your our senses raising our vibrations as we become one with self and we are acknowledging during this time we are acknowledging the internal metabolism with our eyes closed and our minds open we are taking we are to take deep breaths inhaling the power of the senses within Exhale through the mouth slowly. Again, you know, the same practices. Just, you know, being balanced, staying on, you know, on task, if you will, when it comes down to the breathing. If spirit tells you to breathe three, five, seven, ten times, you you do that, you know. Because um, everything will be awakened in you as you are connecting with yourself. So you will know what to do and what not to do. Okay, so we're focusing on the inward parts. I'm going to keep saying that because it's very important. Focusing on the things that is within us. Our livers, our kidneys, our spleens, our hearts, our lungs, our brains, our everything, our esophagus, everything, everything. Um, we're focusing on the inward parts, listening to ourselves breathing, and we're feeling our hearts beating. Those are just the you know basic things that came to me at the time but it's so much more as I just explained before at the time of us doing these things we're illuminating our mind body and soul we are to illuminate them with divine thoughts the you know just divine thoughts of self um, peace love joy power creativity strength security and that pretty much lines up with the chakras the um, energy centers that are within us um and that can be looked up as well so in the process of that we're you know stating i am affirmations you know connecting back to source and just source and just giving thanks for all that is within you know i am strong i am healthy i am well i am love you know just all the good things um so at moving forward in the process of that, we are opening up our energy centers, sensing each center, the crown chakra, that's the spirituality of self, that is the head, acknowledging who we truly are. And the next is the mind's eye, that's awareness, um, becoming aware of what is happening within and around us. So what's in, what's going on within us, and what is going on around us, and actuality, or just, you know, on our body our metabolism because it's all about self first you know so we got to keep it within and really like just be real with ourselves like what's going on within us um are we ill is something going on you know that we need to heal um do we need to talk to and you know meditate and pray over this this um this Orisha, you know, ask this Orisha to, you know, be here with us, heal us, strengthen us, you know, because all the Orishas, they symbolize something. So we have to connect back to that Orisha, that spirit, that that body part, if you will. So I'm going to keep going. 
the throat quietly communicate life into our universe um, inside of us we are the universe um, that will reflect outside of self C connecting back to source energy self will create our reality so whatever we're thinking and whatever's going on within us we are creating it in reality so just like I was very emotional um, and it manifested externally through my sinuses heavily horribly I had to tap back in within myself not knowing her name was Oya I just knew that she you know that I, I was emotional so I had to tap tap back into myself and um, destroy those emotions that allowed me to have horrible sinuses if you will so that's an example and the next one the next energy center that will be opening up lighting the candles the incense inside um the burning the candles i'm sorry i'm lighting lighting the candles and burning incense is another um way to to the heart um we allow love to enter healing the heart loving self what makes our heart happy we think on these things we just meditate and just give thanks um next one is the navel is this um is the navel is the yes is the navel <laughs> i'm sorry um the solar no the solar plex that's what it's called thank you i'll praise this um and that represents willpower a lot of us are stuck when it comes down to making moves if you will and you wonder why that is when we go into the anatomy and you know check out our metabolism and see what is going on in our inward part there you know we could our digestive system could be off balance and that is when the orishas um what was the orisha for that that was who i'll have it all listed it's it's so many things that i'm looking through um or it could be you know anything it could be o olokun it can be um who represents the pancreas liver spleen kidneys you know and all that the urinary tract self-cleansing um it could be oh my um one of the other orishas where is it i'm gonna have it all written down i don't want to you know make this too long um moving forward yes so the navel the solar plex is the willpower and we are to rest within our beings just rest in our being and um think about what our purpose is like following through with our purpose so we you know and and just meditate on our our willpower so we can you know move forward from being stagnant if you will um i noticed that i started from the top and then i'm working my way to the bottom and that's very interesting um but i'm gonna keep going so yes rest within your being what will you do with your powers that rest inside of you of self um we see a lot of things that's going on around us and we're inspired by or we're not you know really gravitating into it you know we see certain things like oh i, I could be doing that but what is your truth what is your power what is the will of your life next is the sacral that is the um pleasing that is the, the the energy center of the the pleasing if you will <laughs> self self is imperative we are it is important to tap back into self we are to focus on a pleasurable life what pleases you you know what pleases you um what pleases you <laughs> whatever pleases you if it's not harming yourself and or harming anyone else you do it faithfully with your willpower you know um the next one is the root chakra that is the very first chakra and it represents trust we are to trust the universe. We are the universe. We are to trust ourselves. Um, know that we are secure. We are to know that we are protected by the most high and self. When we are operating from our higher self, we are the most high in the flesh. 
So um, we must know that connecting back to, to source energy within us, we will be completing, um, we will be preparing the altar. We will be connecting back to mind, body, and soul. We will be, you know, self-healed. We will be able to heal others. We will be able to listen and feel things greatly, you know, once we have these, once we acknowledge our, our, our self. Okay, moving along. Um, we are to enjoy our present moment with the spirit. We are to enjoy during, in a, in a process, excuse me, in a process of tapping into our energy centers and lighting the burning the candles and the incense incense if you will we are to enjoy the present moment with spirit with self at the senses as the senses are being ignited within first self and if we are accompanied by others we are to enjoy the spirits of the people around us as they are also as they are also connecting back to source the energy will be euphoric you know we're all in a in a meditative space you know um we'll be able to acknowledge what's going on within us and we'll be able to see what's going on within others who are also tapping back into their higher self and you also will know who was not you know no judgment you just know your place and stay in your place okay moving on acknowledging i'm sorry continue Focusing on the mind's eye, visualizing your, our energy rise. So as we are focused on the internal parts and the spirits, the orishas in us, all of our livers, kidneys, spleens, heart, everything inside of us, we will be visualizing and acknowledging the energy rise in us. And if it needs to be healed, heal yourself. Connect, you, connecting back to yourself you know how to heal yourself. Sometimes you have to eat these foods that is provided for our kidneys, our livers, and our spleens, and our lungs, and whatnot. And I'll touch base that. Um, I'll go into that as far as oil. I know oil likes black beans, and black beans are good for the lungs as a cleanser. So that is what we are to do. I'm not going to focus on the physical, you know, outside. I'll just say, you know, food is put to the side for the um, Arishas. And that is one of the things that didn't make sense to me because it's going to waste when we need these things, you know, and or I, I, I am going to speak on it. I am because spirit is telling me to. Um, it doesn't make any sense to me to leave out um, food to, to rot when those foods could be they are for our well-being. And I'm not sure if all brothers and sisters that allow the food to sit there um, and then throw it in the trash or I don't know I mean that's what I'm thinking that you know some and, and if I'm wrong correct me however this is what was revealed to me as a question was raised yesterday um, what was revealed to me was make the food eat it and go and or serve it to other spirit, spiritual deities meaning it can be a, a homeless person down the street it can be my neighbor just offering them some food it can be you know another spiritual entity um deity because all the orishas dwell in us so why just leave it there to sit there and and rot and and or just throw it in the trash that makes no sense to me when well, a lot of people are suffering illnesses and just you know dying um or just give it back to the earth <sighs> okay so acknowledging the external metabolism so we acknowledge the internal we are now we're acknowledging the external we are to take deep breaths inhaling the power of the senses within exhale through the mouth slowly you know three times i say because that's what came to me Bringing our hands together in a praying position. And we are to allow both hands to remain together. And we are to feel our heart pulsate through the hands as we breathe natural th thoughts. Um, this is another yoga meditation uh, posture, if you will. So yoga is 
all good <laughs> all, all good um so this is just you know acknowledging the external because the external is just, is just as good as the internal so acknowledging our hands are together allowing our heartbeats to pulsate through our hands um bringing our two hands to rest together on a heart chakra we will feel more we'll feel our heart beating more um visualizing with our minds i balanced balance being balanced with spirit self um we're breathing and our heart is beating we are to adore ourselves um give praise to the most high in our universe and within self um, we are the universe we are to reverence our oneness with the divine spirit spirits those that are around us meaning that we're not alone we will be you know with other beings um, and if not literally just acknowledge those who are also experiencing what we are because we're never alone and after you know we have connected within self to within the, within self to the most high um we will wait for the gates to open waiting for the gates to open you may sense the spirits through you <laughs> um as we listen insightfully we will gain insight on what spirit is trying to communicate with us through our senses our gates and our chakras so as we are um, acknowledging the, the external metabolism, however, still, you know, with the mind's eye closed, we're hearing and the spirits will tell us, the, the, the orishas will tell us, our body parts will tell us what's needing to be healed or who needed to be, who needs to be prayed for. How can you help, you know, some, a, pro, a prophetic, um, something pro a, a prophecy may come to you, you know, to to make moves and do something or something may be shown to you. However, if it's a healing process, you will be able to heal yourself. I have sciatica and I experience pains in my back and my leg at times. So I know how to now um, heal myself and continue to just massage my leg and give life and my to my my being and just you know give thanks and just love all over myself and um and I am well and this is something that needs to be done as often as possible so we can constantly be at a peaceful happy blessed blissed state if you will so we can continue to live healthy um in in this realm so that is pretty much it um i have one more thing to say according to this though as i was thinking about all the foods you know that we need to eat to heal our bodies opposing to letting them sit there and rot um what if we are the ones who are um considered how can I say this? What if we are the ones who are to blame when it comes down to it not being any fruits and vegetables growing in our communities freely as we are supposed to have in our lives? Just fruit trees, vegetable gardens. I mean, um, why don't we have these things? Granted, they are taking them out of the supermarkets. However, no more pointing the finger we can't keep pointing a finger so we know where to go to get some seeded um vegetables i'm sorry fruits and whatnot we know how to um give back to the earth that's it like just give back to the earth the seeds and the vegetations and whatnot planting um seeds if you will so fruits and vegetables can grow um, in our communities it's being done in very small portions of communities why not big parks why not um, if we went back out there if we went out there to the park daily and just planted seeds and gave back you know to, to mother nature and um, 
in the parks not just you know in our little gardens and you know in the little small community garden around a corner but in the park take some seeds and vegetables and um just plant fruit trees and vegetables whatever spirit leads and guide us to are they or are, are, are we concerned about you know um what could happen if this didn't but what if something great happen in the process of us giving back you know we worried about why there isn't none let's worry about you know that's the problem what about the solution how can we make this better um how could we plant seeds in the community freely for you know everybody to eat just take care of them you know um that's pretty much where my mind is right now focusing on healing myself loving myself and however I can help others um, raise up, raise their vibrations and think on um, what could be. And um, that's, I'm not going to go any deeper, but that's all I wanted to share to give you something to think about. And I give thanks for uh, me being able to share my meditation practice. I'm still in a process. Um, however, I am well with sharing spirits that is okay for me to share. And just to um, enlighten you all on the Orishas, no disrespect to anybody's practice. Um, I've learned that, well, I've heard that um, the Orishas will be angry if we don't do certain things the way they expect us to do. I get it. Listen, my heart going to get angry if I don't take care of my heart. And it's going to hurt. It been and killed me. But to think about a spirit outside of myself hurting me, no. I am secure i am rooted um and that is the orisha i'm sorry that is the root chakra i'm trusting the universe my universe i am okay i do not fear what people say and um i trust the most high in myself i don't mean any harm everything is all divine and um and truth, truthful coming from my spirit. I just wanted to share this. You know, it's nothing to be afraid of. Um, as we all continue to walk in our truth, everything will be well. Well, thanks for listening. I appreciate it. If you have any questions, any comments, please share, like, subscribe, subscribe. Let's build um, however we can. Ashe, peace.